Okay, so this one is Star Citizen Content Creator Burnout from uh, Montoya. And um, I just want to say, I don't know what this is going to say or anything. But I do see very often in the Star Citizen community, anytime I play different games, anytime I see uh, a another content creator take a break and play other games... People always come into your Twitch channel or on your YouTube feed and are like, did you quit Star Citizen? Did you quit it? Um, it, it, it creates this like weird dynamic where your viewership obviously is there to see your reactions, how you feel, what you're saying about Star Citizen. Um, so that's a thing. that It is what it is, and I, and I accept it. But content creators taking a break from a game that is an alpha that is not in a good state at all is normal is healthy don't make them feel like they're not normal because they're doing something normal that you probably do every day there's there's almost a zero percent chance that the viewers are playing as much as the streamer is and it is not easy to play this game a lot Okay? It's not easy to, easy to play this game for hours. And the person here who is going to be making commentary on Morphologist's Morphologist frustration about the game and looking to play another game and isn't very happy uh, is... is I'm, I'm immediately skeptical because it's my understanding that Montoya doesn't have a lot of time to play the game. So commentary from somebody who doesn't do what morphologists may do is not always sensical, right? It doesn't make sense. Uh, where I totally understand where Morph is coming from. I don't think Morph's video uh, was entirely accurate, but let's see what Montoya does. Uh, you know, I do think I, I owe Montoya an apology, sort of. So... The last video that we watched about Montoya, he made a comment about people with like gambling addictions and something may have gotten um, lost in translation. Regardless if it was lost in translation, uh, totally understandable. I think I commented on that at the end of the video. Uh, I want to make sure that people know that it's like not acceptable to put people down for, you know, mental health issues or problems that they have. So I took that very personally and I kind of said what I said and and I I believe in what I said if Montoya said what means what he said and it wasn't just a lost in translation thing but I thought I made that clear uh, but based on the YouTube comments it didn't seem that clear to people so all right let's go ahead and let's start the video very very long intro Sorry about that. Star Citizen has a handful of regular content myself. creators. Morphologist being one of the bigger ones, I think Board Gamer also closely behind that. So when one of the larger content creators throws in the towel, well, he's not throwing in the towel, but when one of the larger content creators says, you know what, 2022 is not the year for Star Citizen and I'm taking a break, it causes a bit of a stir. Now, I can speak on behalf it's of normal. the majority of the backers when I say there is a lot of frustration it's normal. It should not cause a stir. It is normal. It is the the normal thing to do that literally all of the backers do. ...baked into Star Citizen right now this year. The roadmap changes. I made a video about two weeks ago called The Roadmap Rage where I covered the uh, new issues on the roadmap. Not new issues. Uh, well, the issue with the roadmap and how they removed everything. But uh, a little tidbit which uh, morphologists... No, no, no. So just a comment. Just commenting on um, Nubifier who's also uh, a, a, a very large... Uh, content creator in the space is I don't think Montoya is creating a stir. I think Montoya is responding to the stir that the community creates when a content creator like Morph says what he says, right? I, I, I'm not putting blame here on Montoya at all. Missed. I want to make sure that's clear. About the topic was this right over here. We are, we're over there. Let's listen to this part. True. As mentioned in a previous roadmap roundup, as well as on this episode of Star Citizen Live, the core gameplay mm -hmm. pillar team has moved to focus exclusively on Squadron 42. Okay, before Montoya responds here, this is the main criticism that I had with Morphologist's video. We have yet to see 
Richard Tyrer and other teams move to Squadron and bring back anything to the PU. That is the communication they gave to us that is, is the plan of what is going to happen. A plan is different than action. We will not be able to confirm that this is true or it's effective or anything until there's action coming in the direction of the PU coming out of Squadron 42 from the actor status team and others, right? So FPS improvements, actor status improvements, all of those things. So no matter what Montoya says here, I just wanted to make sure because my video isn't up on YouTube yet. So you guys that are watching on Twitch of my reaction to Morph's, uh, Morph's video here is not um, up. So you may not have heard that. So I just want to communicate that. If you're watching this on YouTube, you would have heard that repeated. All right. So you are new. You don't know what's happening. Let me explain. When most of us yes, backed... I Star Citizen back in 2013, 2014, whatever Reaction. it was, I would say majority of us backed because we wanted the persistent universe. We want the MMO part. The fact that they were making yeah, a single player part to the game is nice. It's the icing on top. It's great. I think it's a great strategy. I like the idea of explaining the lore, really setting the tone for what the game's going to be by playing through a single player game and then being released out into the universe. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it, it was all a cool idea back then. I like the idea. It's not, it hasn't been an effective uh, process since the idea, but here we are. And uh, yeah, I agree with that. I think a lot of people bought the PU and are a little disappointed in seeing the focus on Squadron 42, especially since, um, you know, 2015 and beyond. Since 2.0, I think most people bought into the PU, and a lot of people probably don't even know what Squadron 42 is. Um, the early backers, I think. You know, I was interested in Squadron 42 because I was a Wing Commander fan. Still am interested in Squadron 42, but I am way more interested in the PU because I was way more into the Privateer series from Chris rather than the single player stuff. Single player stuff you play once, Privateer I played a bunch. And to have a game with the scope and reach of Squadron 42 with the big name actors... I can't think of a game in that I've played. Is there anything in recent history that's come out with like A-list actors in it? I can't think of anything recently. The truth is there, isn't. there hasn't been a game like Squadron 42 Cyberpunk? for decades, which is why Chris Roberts wants to take the opportunity to do it. I don't know if they're so considered A-list. So the problem A -list. is, if they are taking away the core gameplay pillar and moving it to focus on Squadron 42, does this mean the MMO part is getting delayed even more? And Pyro, which is the part we're all waiting for, will probably be delayed into next Persona. year. Is just, that's uh, the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back here for Morph. And at the end of this video, he's essentially saying, you know what, uh, I gotta take a break. I gotta play other games. And that's perfectly fine. You know what? There's no ways any content creator can survive or <laughs> can keep their sanity if all they did was Star Citizen. You go nuts. Even look at the Star Citizen streamers, even the Twitch streamers who have. I, I bet, I bet everybody when they clicked this video thought that th this was not going to be what Montoya said. Drake's in chat for Montoya, dude. Drake's in chat. I was expecting the total opposite because. Montoya doesn't play as much, so I didn't know if he was going to be able to be empathetic to the the insanity that trying to play this game on stream uh, day in and day out can be. Um, yeah, it's really hard sometimes. I have the utmost respect for them because they do amazing work with that. But to play Star Citizen day in and day out is impossible. They will always play other games too. There's no rule that says you yeah. can only play or only follow Star Citizen. You'll go nuts. So I guess Morphologist is discovering the secret sauce here and saying, yeah, I can't do this. Uh, I can't sit around for a year if nothing's going to be happening. But that is debatable, all right? The community being upset and angry about the lack of uh, development speed in the MMO part of the game and with server meshing is understandable. But yeah. at the same time, uh, I made a video just two weeks ago talking about this saying, where the hell is Squadron 42? Answer the call, 2016. What happened? Tell us. And I've said this many times. CIG, give us the truth. Tell us what happened. Uh, we won't be, well, we'd be mad. They did. They told us in 2016 or 2017 that they changed the scope, 
they're making it bigger. They're making it better. They're doing all the, you know, just kicking the can down the road. They told us then there isn't much more to say other than that. But I, I, I kind of agree with Montoya. There's been a lot of new people since then that maybe don't understand what the delay is. Why are you not making things for the game that I paid for, the PU? Why are you doing this Squadron 42 thing that I don't care about? There's a lot of, uh, of that. I still need to make that video about, like, Star Citizen's kind of kind of a, a scam in that way. But we deserve the truth also. Backers need to know exactly what's going on there. So CIG is also not stupid. They realize they can see the frustration and anger. And what they want to do is essentially say, you know what, like, we're close. We're close. We just need a final push here. When I say final push, it could be upwards of a year. We need a final push in Squadron 42 to Probably get this IDD. out. And to do that, we are moving the core gameplay. Was it the pillar they said? We're going to be moving the core gameplay pillar. We're going to move a lot of dev hours into just squeezing out Squadron 42, get that done. Once that is behind us, we can focus everything back on the MMO part of the game. And as I explained also previously, just because they're focusing on Squadron 42 does not mean yeah. they are ignoring the MMO part. The guys doing server meshing have nothing to do with Squadron 42, I don't think anyway. So if the, the artists and the level designers are working on Squadron 42, it doesn't take away from the server meshing guys who are still working on yep. getting that done. Uh, so this, the, well, there may and be the delays. artists and so on. Well, there may be some things that are moving from the MMO parts so that can focus on Squadron 42. Uh, but they're going to do this. Uh, we may not like it, and we don't like it, but they have to get Squadron 42 out the way for good. Yep. So I really, really hope we see some news this summer about Squadron 42 because Morphologist, poor Morphologist is burning out. And uh, if he is watching this, it's perfectly normal. We've all been there. And Morphologist will go on to say that, you know, uh, because this hasn't come out, he's not going to play much anymore. He's going to play other games. We've all been there too. Uh, there was a time before yeah. Area 18 come out, came out. I said, I'm not coming back until Area 18 comes out. And on the topic of Area 18, I also said, I don't believe they can make a planet that is covered with a city. I never I'll thought believe it either. It when I see it. And when it came out, I was like, ah, I guess they did it, which was impressive. So same with Pyro. I know Pyro probably... This is why I watch other content creators. The, you guys sometimes you, I'm not blaming you the viewers but I, I notice you guys do things sometimes where you create this divide between us like we are so different we're not I, like me and, and Montoya here are on like absolutely 100% the same wavelength and most people would say he's over there Mike and you're over there and, and yeah this is why I do this to show you know that we're all very similar we're all very friendly montoya comments on all of my videos and and, and stuff like that when i watch him with with his funny should i react to that your react and all those things um yeah I, I the more i think about it the more i notice you you guys have been creating these divides between us occasionally probably exists they're showing us video of it but when it comes out, I believe it when I see it when it comes out. So I can't tell you it's going to be November. I can't tell you it'll be December. Uh, maybe January next year. I don't know. But uh, that's the frustrating part of this. So uh, Morphology is saying it towards the end of his video now. Really great quality of life updates. But ultimately, the tangibles for 2022 are going to be very light. Mm -hmm. All True. in all then, if you're holding your breath for this year to be the year for Star Citizen, stop. You're, you're going to suffocate. Take a deep breath. It's it's not the year for Star Citizen. I want to just toss something in there also. There are so many new backers coming into the game on a daily basis uh, who are putting fresh eyes on this for the very, very first time. Just yesterday, Jack Frags, a giant YouTuber, 3 million people on his channel, did Star Citizen. And he was playing and was having fun. He was having a great time. And yep. I'll do a reaction to his video because it's wonderful seeing the excitement that people have. And you old backers... And Morphologist is not that old, but Morphologist, as an older back also, need to remember there are constantly new people discovering Star Citizen every single day. And they, and they discover are blown the things away. we take for granted. With or without Pyro in the game, they are blown away. There is so much to do. Now, those of us who have been in the game from the beginning might think it's... There's so much to do and look at initially, but it's just not a daily driver game. And we all want it to be a daily driver game. It's still an alpha. 
it's just not going to be. All I ever argue is that it's not just an alpha, it's also a live service, and it needs to be treated more so like a live service than it has been in the past. We need more to do on a daily basis. You need to give us a little bit more um, to sink our teeth into. I'm not asking for the world, but Jack Frags can come and look at the game and say, wow, this has a lot of potential, but he can't, uh, he can't go, I want to be a Star Citizen player. You know, I want to play Star Citizen. Nobody can. It's boring, but do you, can you understand the challenge in trying to understand how to play this game with no tutorial and all the places to discover and flying around the moons and all the different bases and the missions? There is so much in the game right now that we simply, the older backers have just pushed aside because it's old to us. But keep in it's, mind, it's a, the fresh eyes coming in, which are by the thousands every month, find the game highly impressive which yeah. is very exciting once to they me start anyway, seeing the repetition that, uh, people still find out that it's not, after all these years but it's true he's right but there's some fun still to be had this year personally if you want my recommendation i think that it's time to take a step back from star citizen and just visit it more lightly go play some other games for a while there's absolutely and there's nothing uh Amazing about this advice. Uh, right now, I'm playing a lot of Cyberpunk. One, uh, patch 1.5 came out. They've fixed the game up a lot. It looks great. It runs great. If you uh, have been ignoring I've Cyberpunk, about give it a shot. Diving into but, that as well. Uh, that's been happening for years now. Every single content creator has to take a break once in a while, whether it's a couple of weeks. But I guarantee you this: Morphologist will be back in no time at all. As soon as new information or new video or a new ship is released, he'll be out there day one on the new ship, saying an architect reviews the <laughs> new ship. So this is not the end of Star Citizen coverage from Morphologist, or rather, he needs a little break uh, just to recharge the batteries, which has happened to everyone at one point or another. Yep. But uh, let's wrap up this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe, your comments below, and I'm going to do a react to Jack Frags next. So stick around for that one. Nice. Thank you, Montoya. I appreciate that.